Welcome to the spoken tutorial on side lying hold for breastfeeding. In this tutorial we will learn choosing the correct breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby, mother's preparation before breastfeeding and how to do the side lying hold. Let us begin. Across the world mothers breastfeed their babies using various types of holds. As discussed in an earlier tutorial, the best breastfeeding hold for a mother and her baby is the one in which both mother and baby are comfortable for the entire duration of breastfeeding. The baby is able to attach deeply to the mother's breast and get sufficient milk. Let us learn about a new hold called the side lying hold. This hold is recommended when the mother is breastfeeding at night or when the mother has had a caesarean section delivery or when the mother is tired. Before feeding her baby, the mother must wash her hands with soap and water and dry her hands properly. Then she should drink a glass of boiled and cooled water. Lactating mothers produce 750 to 850 milliliters of milk per day on an average. Therefore, they need to increase their daily water intake. Next, mother should uncover the breast from which she wants to feed the baby. She should ensure not to put pressure of her bra or blouse on the breast. Next, the mother should lie down comfortably on the side of the breast that she will feed from. She should keep a pillow under her head and a pillow between her legs to avoid rolling over in her sleep. The mother in this picture will be feeding her baby from her right breast. Therefore, she is lying on her right side. Next, let us learn how to position baby's body correctly. Place the baby on her side such that her stomach is gently pressed by the mother's body. The mother should support her baby's back with the hand on the side that she is lying on. The mother in this picture is supporting her baby's back with her right hand. The mother can place a pillow behind her baby's back to hold her close to her body. Lesser distance between their bodies will reduce the baby's effort to reach the breast and it will become easier for the baby to attach deeply to the breast. Remember, the mother should never bring the breast to the baby by bending her back. This will increase the distance between the baby's stomach and mother's body. She should always keep her back straight and bring the baby to her breast. The second important point is the direction in which the baby's entire body is held. You may have noticed that when we eat food, our head, neck and body are always in the same direction. Similarly, baby's head, neck and body should always be in the same direction while breastfeeding. This will make swallowing milk easier for the baby. Now, we come to the third point in positioning the baby's body. Mother should support the baby's back with her hand. Otherwise, the baby will have to take a lot of effort to attach deeply to the breast. Next, let's look at the position of the baby's nose and chin. Baby's nose should be in line with the nipple. And her chin should be forward and very close to the breast. This will ensure that the baby takes in more of the lower part of the areola while latching and therefore will use the lower jaw to drink more milk efficiently. Please note, areola is the dark area around the nipple. Now that the baby is held correctly, let us learn how to hold the breast. Using the fingers of the hand that is free, the mother should cup her breast from the side in a C-shape hold. The mother in this picture will use her left hand to hold her right breast. 
the fingers holding the breast should always be in the direction of the baby's lips. Why? Let's understand this using a simple example. When we eat a vada pav or burger, our lips open horizontally. We hold the vada pav or burger horizontally to take a big bite. Here, the thumb and fingers are placed in the direction of the lips. If we hold the vada pav or burger vertically, we won't be able to take a big bite. Similarly, observe the direction of the baby's lips. The lips are horizontal here. Therefore, mother's fingers and thumb should also be placed horizontally on the breast. This will help the baby to take a big part of the lower areola in her mouth. In addition to being in the direction of the baby's lips, mother's thumb and fingers should always be at a distance of three fingers from the nipple. Again, while eating a vada pav or burger, if we hold it too close, our fingers will block our mouth from taking a big bite. If we hold it too far away, it will not be shaped correctly to fit in our mouth. Therefore, we hold it at the right distance to take a big bite. Similarly for the baby, the right distance is of three fingers from the nipple as shown in this picture. This distance will ensure that mother's fingers do not block the baby from taking the lower areola in her mouth. Mother does not compress only the nipple which will give very little milk. Mother compresses the larger milk ducts beneath the areola to express more milk out and the breast is shaped correctly to help the baby attach deeply. Let's go back to the example of vada pav or burger. After holding the vada pav or burger correctly, we always press it to take a big bite. Similarly, the mother should lightly press her breast in a C-shape hold from the side. This will help the baby to take a big part of the breast in her mouth. But remember, mother should not press her breast in a Caesar shape hold. Caesar shape compression will pinch the breast and cause nipple feeding. Also, make sure that there is equal compression of the breast with the thumb and the fingers. Otherwise, the nipple will shift either in the upward or downward direction and the baby will not be able to attach deeply to the breast. Now, the baby is in the side lying hold and ready to attach to the breast for breast feeding. Correct attachment of the baby to the breast is explained in another video in the same series. As soon as the baby is attached deeply to the breast, mother should release the breast from her hand. She should use this hand to hold the baby's back and keep the baby close to her body. Also, she should move her other arm from the baby's back and keep it at 90 degrees to her body. She should bend the elbow of that arm, then she should tuck that hand under the pillow. The mother in this picture has released her right breast from her left hand. She is using her left hand to hold the baby's back and keep the baby close to her body. She has moved her right hand from the baby's back. She has kept it at 90 degrees to her body. Her right elbow is bent. Her right hand is tucked under the pillow. After feeding from the first breast, if the mother wants to feed from her other breast, then she will have to lie down on the other side. The mother in this picture has turned to her left side to feed from her left breast. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.